welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be a really short one just to show off some of the projects that could have been but were but never were. Uh, meaning essentially projects that I started that I never managed to finish. And they've been in my um, either under my table or in my cupboard or in a box or in one of these uh, plastic container type things for years and have never seen the light of day. And every now and again, I pull them out, these things, these various uh, armies that I've half finished, quarter finished. And I get kind of upset with myself that I never had the energy to finish them or the game died out or people who used to play them with me moved on or changed their, their game system and, and kind of left me where I was. Or or I've changed my, my taste and scale. Now, when I was younger, 6mm was my scale mainly due to Epic Armageddon being very popular in my area. I love 6 mil. Then I tried my hand at 15 mil when Flames of War was big. Never really went anywhere. That was a very strong that was a very strong game in my area as well, one of the strongest. Uh, but it wasn't strong in a narrative sense. It was strong in a competitive sense, whereas there was lots of tournaments. Um and Mainly people would play in tournaments. So it wasn't that much casual play. Um, so Epic Armor again suffered from that a little bit, but a little bit less. Um, and I'm not a competitive person. I don't. I don't enjoy the competitive scene. I don't enjoy power gaming. I've never been any. I've never been that way. I'm more of a story driven guy, a narrative driven guy. And um, you know, one thing leads to another, and you essentially you just you fall out of love with the game, or people move off and. You just maybe you just get tired of painting a certain scale or of a certain project for so long. Now I have been able to finish projects. There are certain projects that I start and stop, start and stop, start and stop, and I do manage to get all the way through them. Uh, Napoleonics is one of those types of projects for me because I really love the Napoleonic era and the history behind that whole that whole era. So I'm able to go in and out of interest into that. Uh, naval gaming is another one. I'm, I'm easily in and out of that genre. Um, so I'm able to like, for instance, ships that I haven't painted, I will, I will, I'll never get rid of them because I know eventually I will paint them. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is essentially projects that I've started that I never finished that I think it's time for me to move on from. And I've spent the last little while going through all my nicks and nooks and crannies here in the house in the basement and trying to find all the things that I haven't seen in a while. I've pulled them out, dusted them off, I've taken pictures of them, and I'm going to post them online for sale in my local area. Now, they may sell, they may not sell. Either way, someone might as well, might as well be using them. So, it's not going to be me. Uh, I've, I've done the weighing scales. Like I've done this before, where I've sold stuff online um, a few years ago. What I used to do for many years is what I'd, I'd paint all winter long and in Canada the winters are around eight months well six months um, and I'd paint all winter long and then in the summer I would sell what I had painted and it would bring in a few thousand dollars here and there um, some projects I wouldn't do that because I love them so much but most of the times I would but since COVID I haven't done that so I have accumulated a fair bit of excess if that makes sense um, People tell me all the time, do not sell your stuff. You'll regret it. Do not sell your stuff. And on one hand, they're right. There is some regret there. But there is too much unopened, unpainted stuff in this basement for me to regret for too long. So let's get down. I want to show you what I have assembled here on my table that I'm going to sell. I just want to do a short video on it. So maybe one day I'd look back and I'd remember what I had done. Um, I love counting the figures and vehicles that I paint. I keep, I keep kind of like a running tally. Of how many figures and how many vehicles I've managed to paint in my lifetime. It's a sick mount. Hey, cat. Cat's trying to... Look at this guy. He's trying to eat my phalanx. Um, the running tally so far is over 40,000 figures since I've started painting. So it's kind of a disgusting amount. So I don't intend on keeping 40,000 uh, figures underneath my ping pong table. Anyway, I rambled enough just going to show you the first thing you'll see on the screen is my Ar uh, epic armageddon blood angels army now in epic armageddon there's six mil and they're metal they're white metal uh figures that i got off a forum 
uh, post years and years ago. Um, I based them on square bases just so that I could... Uh, I like the look of square bases versus the epic long thin base. I, I never really enjoyed that base. So I base these for more than just the epic Armageddon rule system. I wanted to try and maybe make my own rule system or use them with some sort of other sci-fi setting. Um, and I'm just going to pause the video here and get down a little closer. Okay, so sorry if I'm a little disjointed there when I was talking, but this cat over here insists on playing with this ball. And I don't know why he will not leave me alone with this stupid thing. Here you go. Off he goes. Anyway, um, here we have uh, 100 tactical marines with their rhino transports. Now try and slow down when I'm moving around because I constantly do this too quickly. I have them. I have some devastators, 25 of them. Got a hundred uh, assault marines. I've got a collection of predators, including, you know, ball predators and uh, auto cannons and las cannons. Some land raiders broken down between, I think, crusaders and regular ones. We've got some terminators here, fifty terminators. Essentially, I have the Death Company here, and they are riding in transports. So three transports takes two bases each of Death Company and a Dreadnought hanging off the end of it. So that is what I've collected for the 6mm Blood Angels. Now, technically, I could say this is correct, but I don't have any command stands. And the enemy force that they were going to go up against were Eldar, and the Eldar are the ones I never actually officially finished. And I'll show them to you next. Okay, here we are. Here's the Eldar. Now, I didn't bother taking them out of their little case because I'm actually quite tired tonight. So, I, um, since I'm selling them, you know, they're going to be sold in this box. You know, no point in moving them all around. Now, here's the Eldar. These are the original Epic um, 40k Eldar, the plastic ones, uh, along with the Epic Armageddon metal, white metal uh, support units. And then I have a lot of the, um, some forum stuff. This is a forum wear, these two items here. Along with the the falchions for the falcons, these are all for them. Now these ones here are wave serpents from the original plastics. This plastic stuff. Um, if we can get in here a little closer, there's some guardians. I never actually finished basing them. Whatever those things are called, some uh, scorpions there, some wraith guard here. You know, tried my best. Again, these were all painted years ago. And I do have a... Whatever their god is called. Avatar of Cain. I do have one of those, but this is the... Essentially what I've done for the Eldar. So between the Blood Angels and the Eldar, that was supposed to be my army. Now these are round bases. Uh, I don't know why I went from square bases to round bases. I think I did the square bases first... And then I changed my mind and I liked, I liked round bases more. So who knows? Again, I was going to rebase them, but too late. So that's them. And I'll be pause it here for a second and I'll be back with the next one. Okay, now if 6mm wasn't enough, I then dialed, uh, dialed in 3mm uh, um, sci-fi. So what we have here is we have 3mm... Imperial Fists, well, they're painted as Imperial Fists, but for the game system uh, by Vanguard Miniatures, Imperious something or other, I can't remember. But essentially, they're Vanguard, Vanguard Miniatures. They make them in 6mm and 3mm, and I thought, wow, I love 3mm. I love the look of them. So I bought them, I painted them up, and these were very hard to paint. These were not easy, you know? Um, a lot of these uh, symbols, like here, like given the Imperial Fist symbol, they look like I'm giving people the finger. But there's some predators, some proxy predators. Um, these are supposed to be like rhinos. These are those laser destroyer things. You know, here's the marines. I think these are supposed to be like land raiders or Sakaran battle tanks, I think. Some more predators. Essentially land raiders.
We got the super heavy over here. The command stands. And if I can just pause for a second, so that's the Imperial Fists. Now, you'll see where my uh, my problem is here. These are based on like rectangular bases for the game. And then midway through, I decided, oh, I, don't, I don't like rectangular bases. I'm gonna go to round bases. So just hang on one second, I'll be right back and show you the opposing forces. Now, I'm sorry for the red, but you know, I didn't feel like taking them all out. But this is the opposing forces. This is, um, they're on round bases. And these are essentially the World Eaters and Death Guard that I had that I had painted so far, and some Iron Hands Terminators that I had painted. You know, there's obviously some um, Dreadnoughts in here too. There's also a model of Angron in here somewhere. Where, oh, right here. Here's Angron. I'm gonna just take him out of here, and I'll show you up close. So just follow me back here. While I... Let's see. Are you gonna zoom in? If I have my hand here, you will. Hmm. Will you do this for me? So yeah, here's the Angron model, a three millimeter Angron with his little his butchers. Um, but essentially, I think I broke the flag off him. But essentially, that's um, what my plan was: was to do the Horus Heresy in three millimeter. I then thought I thought better of that. Now I have collected thousands of these figures and painted hundreds and hundreds of them. And uh, only to do the whole project again a year later in 8 mil, which I've collected hundreds and thousands of them. And these ones will probably never get used, so they're going to go on the chopping block, I think, here in the next little while. Okay, and uh, Kat, you going to investigate? Hey, eh? What's your problem? Yeah. All right, uh, I'll be right back here and I'll show you. I don't, no, I won't pause it. Sorry for the creaking, that's my crappy chair. Um, here is another project that I did that I never finished. 28 millimeter. I know what you want. You want this stupid thing, don't you? Um, 28 millimeter Macedonians and Romans. I wanted to do the uh, Pyrrhic time period or the when Rome invaded Macedon. So what's what's those battles like? Magnesia, maybe? No, not Magnesia. Sinocephali. Anyway, those types of battles. Rome versus the uh, the Pike Phalanx. I painted several pike phalanxes. You know, I got the, the regular dudes here. There's four of them. Got the silver shields or the royal guard. And then I got the pacifists right here. Along with some cavalry that my cat is enjoying knocking over. There he goes. Oh, just like that. Um, yeah, so that's another project I didn't finish. And all of these I'm going to sell in my local gaming community and I just wanted to take this video to show you guys what I had uh, some of the projects that I had never managed to complete and I think it's time for them to move on anyway thanks for watching sorry about the really disjointed video I'm exhausted and this was a kind of an impromptu thing okay see you again bye bye